I want to share with you today my favorite dry eye diagnostic tool. It's pretty simple, it's pretty cheap, and it's uh, easy to use. According to LEM, my bulimia gland dysfunction accounts for around 86% of all dry eye that uh, we encounter in our practice. We did a study about it a year ago and found uh, similar numbers that we published at the uh, Academy of Optometry. And uh, you know, if, if that high of a percentage have MGD, it's a good idea to have a quick, easy, and fast way of discovering whether or not our patients truly do. But the definition of uh, meibomian gland dysfunction is probably different to you than it is to me. The criteria that I use to determine whether or not a patient has meibomian gland dysfunction or not is whether the oil glands are producing. And likewise, the way that I can discover whether my treatment has worked for a patient who has MGD is whether I've improved the production of oil from their glands. But this little thing and these little things are very ineffective at expressing meibomian glands at a calibrated measure. So what do they really tell us? So I use an instrument that's called a meibomian gland expressor. This device has uh, been created and calibrated and worked through uh, through tear science to differentiate the amount of oil that is being produced equivalent to what happens when a patient blinks. They've discovered that to be 1.25 grams per millimeter squared. So as such, they've put this little tiny uh, spring inside here that is calibrated at that amount. Now, when we're using it on a patient, you can see that we're exerting some pressure upon the eyelid. That pressure is equivalent to 1.5 grams per millimeter squared, which is likewise what happens when a patient is blinking. And if I see that there is no oil coming out of the glands with that amount of pressure, I'm certain that this patient has meibomian gland dysfunction. Likewise, if I see that the oils are, are, that are being secreted are a little bit thicker, like a toothpaste or maybe a little bit thinner like Crisco, that may indicate to me that this patient's uh, on, their ro on a road to having more problems or possibly uh, they need to have intervention right now. Now on the flip side, uh, when I see that I have that issue and my decision is to go ahead and treat, I want to make sure that the treatment that I'm recommending for my patient is effective. And the way that I know that is not so much based on whether the patient's symptomatic relief, but whether the glands are actually going from less flow to no flow. There was a study that looked at this with using warm compresses, comparing it to patients who went through lippy flow. And the patients who had warm compresses, they actually had uh, nearly zero improvement in the oil gland secretions but the patients who had lippy flow showed a significant increase in the oil gland secretions. So that's not an advertisement for lippy flow, but it's an advertisement to show that even though our patients may feel better, as many of them do after warm compresses, to me, my strategy is getting a patient going from not good or less good to better, and uh, I can best know whether that's the case if I can know that the glands are going from less to more flow. So let me show you what one of these looks like. Right here. So pretty simple. Uh, and what you do is you simply place this onto the eyelid, you express, and you count how many glands are secreting. Uh, according to this study right here, uh, it uh, talks about um, my bomian glands yielding liquid secretion, and so we count the number of glands nasally, temporally, and centrally, and count them up, and uh, ideally we're looking for eight glands to be flowing, but more ideally we would have more than that. Really the symptomatic level is uh, kind of in that arena where you have five, six, seven, eight, nine glands. Above that, most patients are asymptomatic. You know, we don't focus too much on symptoms, but the biggest thing here is getting as many glands open and as flowing. And if you notice that even though some of those glands are flowing and they're kind of clogged, 
then you may want to intervene a little bit earlier. And last but not least is, is it going to break the bank? And uh, the answer is no. In fact, uh, I have one of these in every single one of my room, uh, one of my exam rooms. And uh, when I bought them, they were a lot more expensive, but um, uh, I uh, reached out to the company yesterday and found that right now the list priced on these is 29 bucks. Um, and you probably could work them down uh, from that if you talk to one of the reps or talk to them at a trade show. Uh, but even if you're not a, uh, a tier science user, a lippy flow user, it definitely is beneficial to have this instrument and uh, I find it very valuable. I hope you do too.